hi to everybody I'm Mario and uh, this is a video tutorial on the add-on software for the dynamic uh, characterization of shock absorber um, let's open the front panel for actuator number one this is the front panel control of the actuator here you can see a new tab lateral tools if you have the license click on tools on the main bar and then tools number seven that is for damper this will enable the bottom click on it to show the tool um, here on the center you have the uh, shock absorber mounted in the machine on the lower side there is the low cell on the upper side there is the actuator with the displacement sensor integrated. Um, let's speak about the tool. The tool is intended uh, to uh, evaluate, uh, uh, to make a comparison uh, of the uh, jumper during the, uh, the manufacturing, during the final test, the comparison with the reference jumper. Uh, so, um, here maybe this jumper is the the jumper that uh, behave in the right way and this will become the reference so we have to record the reference and this is the panel for recording the reference now uh, i know that uh, this uh, this uh, actuator uh, has a 44 about 44 millimeters for the full stroke now the damper the damper the damper has 44 millimeter for the full stroke uh, the, the damper is fully extended so here I will reset the displacement so now enable the actuator and let's go to the middle stroke of the actuator, 22 millimeters. Okay, here I reset again when the position is stable. I rest again the uh, displacement with tire bottom. Okay. Now I know that the displacement from the mid stroke could be as maximum 22 uh, but we don't want uh, we want to stay a little bit away from the end of stroke of the equator so i want to cycle between 20 and minus 20 at two hertz sine wave set because i want to warm up the equator so let's make uh, 30 cycles for the warm up so play This will increase the temperature inside the actuator, and this is this should be made before recording the reference. So now here I want to do 10 cycles at 0.2 Earth between 20 and minus 20. This is this will be the first the first reference. Here we put the this actuator is a special something special fox uh, type uh, type uh, I don't know and uh, as as before x x x x this is x x x type my name and let's start cycling the software will ask us if the actuator is in the middle stroke of the jumper and if you have set to zero the middle stroke and be sure that this set point are in the range of the jumper stroke click yes to start cycling And this is the first cycle and the reference 
on the reference uh, this is will become the reference for this actuator at 0 0.2 hertz now let's wait for 10 cycles and uh, the actuator will be stopped automatically Okay, now before saving the reference file, we will make an average. On 10 cycle, let's try, nothing happens. Because not all 10 cycles are in the graph. Uh, because uh, first two seconds are trimmed and also last two seconds are trimmed. Because we don't want uh, here uh, the graph when the position is zero and uh, this the, the speed is zero uh, so we can make the average to nine no eight no seven cycle no something happens but the average is incomplete maybe seven okay now we have the full average if we put here one we have a last cycle in the graph Let's make seven. This is the, the average, and now we can save the average. So choose desktop, create a directory. This is a, a special uh, Fox Fox XXXX type actuator, and inside this directory, we will save the uh, first reference file. The name of the file is created automatically. So select. Let's here we have the directory. And this is the first uh, the first uh, reference file. Um, let's create another reference. A reference is the same actuator but at one hertz and maybe we want uh, 15 cycles start cycling yes Okay, let's make the average maybe so on 10 cycles. It's incomplete, nine cycles. Okay, let's save. It remember the last directory, select. Let's make the third reference at two cycles, maybe with uh, 20 cycles, start cycling. Yes. average on 10 cycles yeah save the average yeah okay let's see all the file all the file are here and we have the three references the first one for 0 0.2 hertz 1 hertz and 2 hertz set point we, we use the date the name of the operator the name of the reference actuator so now let's go to damper performance evaluation so now i don't change the damper but think about um, having a new damper from the production or from uh, the fields that we want to tune this damper that is untuned so we will test with the same parameters this uh, new damper and we will make paragon with the reference damper in order to evaluate if the new damper is good or not. 
So here we have three reference. On the first, we import the first reference file. So let's go to uh, the reference directory and load the first. Before doing this, watch, of the, watch this. This will be updated automatically. So import and these are updated. Let's go to reference number two, import reference number two, double click, and reference number three. Okay. What are these? These are the blue one is the reference, and the red one are the boundary, boundary min and boundary max that you can uh, change on the fly. Okay, uh, let's 25, 25, 25%, 25. Okay, so now we can start the test. If the uh, actuator is cold, it's better to do a warm up here, like I made before. But now the actuator it's, has, has done the warm up. So let's start the test. Again, is the actuator in the middle stroke? Have you set the zero at the middle stroke? Be sure that set point and set point mean are in the range of the damper. Yes, the test will start. Remember, first two seconds are trimmed. Here we have the type of the at the actuator and the serial number remember to put always the serial number because this is the new actuator and uh, uh, and uh, uh, the report that we will made after uh, the test should have uh, the, the serial number of the actuator This is the second reference. Third reference with the target 20, 20 cycles. Okay, now the test is finished. Pay attention that uh, the actuator is always enabled and for safety uh, don't go, stay stay away from the actuator. Now we will make the report. Put the serial number here. If I put uh, the wrong serial number, don't worry. Uh, when you click report, uh, all this will be updated. So, report. Let's copy the serial number, report. So, Choose a directory where you want to save the report. Maybe inside the reference, I create a new directory with uh, special fox xxx and serial number, control V. And uh, inside this directory, select the directory, will be created the report. Wait for a few seconds and the directory will be opened. Here is the directory. And also, it is just open uh, if you have uh, uh, Microsoft Office uh, Word installed, otherwise, nothing happens. Uh, only images and raw data will be created. Let's see what we have here. Here we have the report images that are inside the report and the row, uh, row data. Let's see the report. This is the report. Uh, with the three images of, and let's see what is in the first 
page. This is the uh, dumper type, serial number of uh, the dumper tested, uh, the operator, the date and the time. Here are the first images with the boundary and the settings of the test, second images and third images. OK, let's close this file. Let's see. Let's see, maybe. Let's see. Uh, this is the image if you want to use for another purpose. And uh, these are the raw data. If you have um, in the international settings of the uh, operative system the semicolon like column separator, you can open directly uh, in uh, Excel the file or if you want with Notepad. Um, but uh, if you have uh, Excel, you can uh, um, visualize uh, the graph. This is versus time, the position versus time. And here, insert, and this is uh, force versus position. So uh, you can use this raw data for a later use. Don't save. If you um, want to to have a report with uh, other boundaries, you can, uh, for example, this push report again, and then uh, you will uh, have another uh, report. Um, what else? Uh, you can uh, Go to ramp set point, uh, disable the actuator. You see the damper that now is fully extended. In a safety way, you can change with a new damper and perform a new uh, comparison. You can uh, reset all graphs. Uh, if the a new actuator is the same type of the reference, you can leave that. Uh, the three reference and uh, when you have mounted the new actuator a little warm up and then start the uh, test again if you want uh, if the actuator is different a different type import uh, a new um, reference if you uh, null this operation the graph reference will be resetted. Okay, that's all. Let's see to uh, a new video tutorial. Bye bye.